Hey guys and welcome to today's video. I'm filming this vlog style because I broke my tripod on the move to New York City so vlogs it is. I also kind of think vlogs are funner and I just like them better. But recently I had this whole epiphany about the importance of fiber in your diet. So that is what I'm going to talk about in this video. But I'm going to set you down. We're just going to have a little talk. is going to be distracting possibly but I'm gonna leave them on they make me feel smarter and I'm um, being a teacher right now so in all honesty I filmed this video on a different day and I was editing the footage today and it made me want to die so I'm refilming it so I'm just gonna start from the beginning basically I was listening to a podcast by Lauren or the skinny confidential I love her stuff I'll link it down below and she was interviewing Tanya Zuckerbrot actually created the F factor diet which is based around the importance of fiber and I'm gonna link the whole podcast so if you guys are interested or if I'm not making sense you can listen to that and do some research on your own science has never been my best subject so I'm gonna try to keep this like short and easy to follow the basic okay so here's my little science lesson for the day carbohydrates are in food that you eat when your body digests carbohydrates they can either be burned as energy stored as energy in your muscles and liver or stored as fat if you eat it in excess and fiber is a type of carbohydrate that is indigestible by the body therefore it cannot be stored it just moves through your system if you're like counting macros or something you can actually subtract the fiber from your total carbohydrate amount because there's no reason to count it that's also why it is zero calories but at the same time it still keeps you full like a car that's pretty cool i thought it was pretty cool it does a bunch of other good things so we probably should start eating it more so that's just kind of an overview on what fiber actually is when you're looking at it in terms of food. There are a ton of benefits when you add it to your diet and it can actually play a huge role in weight loss or controlling your weight and hunger if that is an issue for you. It's recommended for women to get between 25 and 35 grams a day and most Americans like half um, or less than half that. So definitely something to make a conscious, conscious, I can't speak, a conscious effort to incorporate it more. Here's why. One, it makes you feel fuller longer in addition to adding bulk to your meals without adding calories. Two, fiber acts like a sponge. So when it is passing through your body, before it does, it actually soaks up calories and other foods as well as toxins, LDL or the bad cholesterol as well as fat. Not saying that you eat fiber in your meal, it soaks up everything that you just ate. <laughs> It soaks up a very small percentage, but if you're eating it in every meal, that can produce results over time. In that respect, while it is lowering more bad cholesterol, LDL cholesterol is linked to weight gain. Number three, it slows the rate that sugar is absorbed in the bloodstream. So typically when you're eating, you'll have like high peaks and then crashes. You've probably heard of that before. Fiber in your meals, it can actually slow the rate, providing you with sustainable energy. It can increase your mood and your sleep levels, which also help reduce LDL cholesterol, which in turn helps you lose weight. My last point, I forgot which number I was on. I know I forgot my point. Oh yeah keeps you regular. I don't really like to talk about this subject if you know me outside of YouTube um, then you really understand because I don't do that um, but it does it really does go in and um, it, yeah you know what I'm saying so that's always good for the stomach and the, um, the weight loss as well. Oh, I forgot a point. Since your body actually can't digest fiber, metabolism still tries just as hard to break down. Works your metabolism the same as any other food, but you're not actually retaining any of the stuff. Um, a metabolism booster, which is always great. Finally, I did want to mention that in this podcast, they mentioned these crackers. They're called GG Scandinavian Crisp Brand. Crisp they're really low cal and really high fiber. So there's only two net grams of carbohydrate, which net carbs are your carbohydrates minus your fiber. Tanya in the podcast recommends that you eat four to eight of them a day. If you have four crackers, I believe it's 80 calories and 16 grams of fiber, which is half your intake of fiber for the entire day. And you can top them with all sorts of things like I will be showing you later on in this video. Yeah, it's a pretty good deal. I've been eating them ever since. 
all my roommates are eating them so i'm not sponsored by them did i do a good job did i make sense i don't know i have a whole blog post on this linked below if you're interested i will link some more resources but all i know is you need to get your fiber in sorry if my glasses were annoying this whole video i just got them i love them love but they like in the presence of screens they turn blue you know i let's get back into the video so now i'm going to show you two meal options that you can incorporate fiber into your diet um, number one is breakfast i feel like that's one of the easiest ways to do it and i want to talk about i've been loving this three six five everyday value honey almond flax protein and fiber crunch cereal so it's 10 grams of protein and nine grams of fiber which is a lot so how i like to have this is with either just coconut milk or this morning I'm having it with some Kite Hill almond vanilla yogurt and then fresh berries this is like the best breakfast ever and I really recommend you try it I'm gonna eat that and then I'll come back with you guys for a little bit later on when I'm having my snack it's gonna be really good hey guys I'm back and it is a little later on and I'm gonna have my GG crackers as a snack so I did go ahead and make three different varieties that way whatever you're craving I'm sure one of these will work for you or just the plain Scandinavian crisp bread with oat bran and they are four grams of fiber 20 calories and two grams of net carbs and net carbs are the total carbs minus the fiber like I was talking about so it's all of the carbs that can be stored as fat on right here I just put some smashed avocado I topped it with some fresh tomato everything but the bagel seasoning by Trader Joe's so just like you'd have avocado toast you can totally do the same thing with these crackers this one is for peanut butter toast lovers I just have some all-natural organic unsweetened unsalted peanut butter with banana slices chia seed and then I put a little bit of of maple syrup on top you could also do honey this one is vegan cream cheese and then I made like a chia seed blueberry fine sugar free jam these are my three options if you guys would like to see definitely follow my Instagram and blog because I'm posting a ton of recipes on there I'm gonna try one of them for you right now so good these on their own are not known to be like a great cracker they kind of taste like cardboard to be honest but it's all in the toppings. I'm gonna finish these snacks up and I'm gonna go to yoga. So that is going to conclude this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed all these fiber tips. Again, let me know if you kind of like these like topic-oriented videos. I think they're kind of fun and you get to learn something, kind of like one new thing to focus on. Follow my regular Instagram and my new food Instagram. Also follow my blog if you want. I'm posting recipes. Um, this one will definitely be on there. Last thing, I'm not a dietitian and I'm not a nutritionist. It's stuff that I'm trying to implement in my life um okay i love you so much and i'll see you guys in my next video all right the peanut butter and banana one is super fire oh no i'm not a salty girl but this one really takes her home yes.